Yeah, yeah. Y'all better be ready, man. A lot of niggas want the fame. want the fame, yeah. But I just want to get paid. Get paid, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Major Key Podcast presented by PMG LLC. Back in the building. Season 2, episode 10, man. D. What we doing? D. What we doing? Keep it moving. We got a lot of shit to talk about. We got a lot of shit to talk about, man. There's a lot of shit going on, man. A lot, of, a lot of clown shit, I would say. But we're going to keep it moving because I ain't bozo, my nigga. We're going to keep it pushing and moving and moving. But yeah, we got Hefe in the building, man. And it just it was a coincidence. He came in the studio. We was laying some tracks down, man. And, facts, and we facts. was like, you know what? It's a night where we're doing a podcast. Why not get on a podcast and Mac with us, man? Shit. You know, Why not? Is that, yo, that's the homie. I ain't going to hold him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, be known. He... He is, he's an artist also, you know what I'm saying? He got great things popping, coming in the flesh, you know what I'm saying? Definitely eat with his um, lyrics and anything like that. But, yo, homie, it. Check, yo homie it. got it. So, listen, stay in tune, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Definitely a pleasure to be on, on Major Key. It's definitely a pleasure to us, you know what I'm saying? To have Facts. You, thank you, thank you. Saying, Major Key. I appreciate it, too. Absolutely, man. Yeah. What we say, Mott's network is the best work, right? Shit, no way. Cool, man. Without that, we ain't got nothing. Yeah, definitely factual, you know what I mean? But, yeah. We here, man. Another episode of Major Key Podcast, man. Like I always say, man, network is the best work, like I, like I just said, but we don't stop. Right. We don't stop. Once you think we stop much, we just, we just, we like this. Look, we elevate. We elevate. Going up. We elevate. We're going up, baby. We're going up, man. That's how we do that, man. And, and, and like I said, we, we, we got a special guest in the building this week. Most definitely. And to me, it's not always about music. Major Key Podcast, we, we dip into everything, man. We, we, we're going to talk music. Because I want to get a little bit of, you know, your background when it comes to the music and everything. But we're going to kick it. You know, we're going to start it off like this. I got a real issue and I got a real problem with these motherfucking <laughs> challenges that's going on right now. Let's start it like that. Let's talk about these challenges. Yeah. Man, listen, to me, to me, right? Mm -hmm. To me, there's no reason and no, 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 no real Point of doing this fucking crate challenge, bro. I mean, it's a nah. challenge. It's a challenge. You're challenging what? Yourself? I'm dying, my nigga? Like, what's up? Hey, yo, Damn. honestly, a nigga couldn't pay me to do that shit. But when I be watching that shit, I feel like I could do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that shit. But, all right, look. I'm not even getting money. So, at the end of the day, man, whatever everybody chip in, it's, 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 it's much love. That's what they looking at. Like, Facts. Honestly, it's a, it's a hospital bill when you pay That's it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It's, it's going to be the visiting. You know what I'm saying? It comes a bunch to the of hospital. Niggas hurt. Shit hurt. You get shit so, you know what I mean? Lumped up with some shit you broken. In, you in the spittle mad as hell because you doing mad a fucking crate shit. challenge. Yeah, and look, it's, it's some niggas doing it. Some niggas this. Like, the, 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 the first dude to do it, he was rolling a blunt. Oh, yeah. He, he did that shit. A nigga did it reading a book. Reading a book? Nigga was the same nigga? I don't know if it's the same nigga. Somebody did it like that. Man, I'm not doing that shit. Somebody How about that? Yeah, with that I shit. Somebody died already? Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's sure nigga, died. Oh, I ain't even see that. I ain't even see that. I ain't see nobody die off got it. got shot at it. Ain't they oh, yeah. Facts. That's facts. That's facts. Listen, to me, it's, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, there's no point in doing this shit. Mm -hmm. You know? I'd rather be getting money. I'd rather be doing something productive with myself. And I get it. There's people that's going to be doing certain things that's and like that. Money, I mean, it's all What'd you say, Mots? It's all for clout. Yeah, it's some social media shit. Yeah, they I'm big on social media. Don't get it wrong, but I'm on social media for a whole, whole other reason, reason, my nigga. You feel me? I'm not on there jumping on crates and doing all types of fuck shit. That's no, why? Why? Why we got to do this? That's the internet for you, though. That, that crap, that's how, yeah, fuck yeah. shit. You feel me? So that's how it. it you know, try to get famous real quick. You feel me? And I respect it. I don't want to die in the process, though. You feel Facts. Me? I want to enjoy the fame. <laughs> you, yeah, you got and, and you won't enjoy the fame like that. Which nah, niggas is getting hey, fucked hey, up, hey, much? Hey, niggas die every day, b. <laughs> baby, that be right. <laughs> Camera <laughs> voice, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's I don't know, man. I, what, what you think, Mons? Like, would you do that shit? No, I, I'm, why? I'm, why I'm, wouldn't you do a crate challenge? Because my father get fucked up, be <laughs> mad as hell. I should be lumped up, nigga. Why, you, nigga? Hell? Nigga like Martin and shit. My light skin, nigga. That should be all lumped up, nigga. Nah, purple and blue. You be nah. Fuck all that. I can't I, afford to do that shit. Who's gonna take care of me when I'm going to me. <laughs> I don't need that bread or that clout. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So at the fact. end of the day, yeah. I ain't about to put myself in the end. I'm saying? Yeah. Wow, I'm going to balance it out, baby. How about you? Would you ever jump on a crate, do a crate challenge or anything like that? I wouldn't do it, nah. Nah? You couldn't pay me to do it. But I feel like... They paying niggas, shit, though. They paying niggas. But nigga ain't got enough money for me to do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but watching that shit, I be feeling like I could do this shit. You feel me? But You feel I like you could do it? I wouldn't. In one shot? 
I don't know. Probably, I probably need like three or four tries. You feel me? And three or four tries. That yeah. first try might be fucked yeah. up, nigga. You might if die. I don't make it, if I don't make it, I don't make it. But you feel me? But I can't afford to do that shit. Who gonna take care of me? Nigga? Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I feel you, man. It's, it's, it's the, that's the same type of time I'm on. I'm not fucking around with that shit. You know why? I got a lot to live for. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm here for a reason, and I'm not gonna like you said. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna do it on purpose. I'm not trying to kill myself on purpose. You know, so and it's to me. Let's let's do a new challenge. How about we do the get money challenge? Yeah, pull the bands out, niggas. Been trying that. Facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas been trying that, that that challenge since money was invented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> since currency's been around, my these niggas ain't getting no money. A lot of niggas is trying. They <laughs> trying. They, they don't even want to put that. They don't want to do that shit, man. The, the money challenge, man. We, we can come up with it, man. We can, we can do something. Man, come on, man. You, you think, think, think crate killing? Keep up you with some shit like that? I, don't, I mean, yeah. you think crates killing niggas? <laughs> <laughs> Vaccines killing niggas too. Niggas is killing niggas. Niggas, niggas can't niggas survive that, that challenge. <laughs> Money challenge. Niggas, niggas, niggas ain't survive. Matter of fact, that go ahead and do that shit. What a, yeah. Do that shit. That's more money for me. That's, yeah, let's do that challenge. Stupid. Pull some bandos out. Facts, Try man. Off for the clout. Yeah. yeah, man. I mean, there's a lot of different challenges going on. One of the best challenges I like, although I say you can't really get paid off the shit, is the is the challenges with the music, like the the, the So Brooklyn challenge. Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, I'm yeah. down with shit like that because yeah. you know it's, it's about that's positivity to me in the sense you showcasing your talent. You pretty much rapping and, and doing yeah, shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if it's like an R and B challenge, I'm with that shit. But stupidity like that, my nah, nigga, like nah, who nah. don't know that you can get fucked up doing. In this crate challenge, bro. This is not cool. I'm not with that shit. And you see a lot of people, yo, you see a lot of people really on that shit. Yeah, niggas giving up bread for that shit. Up. You hear me? That's a fact. Yo, the illest shit I seen though, niggas doing that shit in New York on concrete, my nigga. Hey, yo, listen. <laughs> uh, uh, hold on. You already know the New no, York niggas. Just walking they up was already crate. different. They've been different. You feel me? Walking yeah. up the crate. All right, nigga, nigga just walk past, just kick the crate. Yeah, bottom, I seen that one. Bottom of the crate. I seen, I seen, I seen it. it. Man. I seen it. Nah, that's not cool. I can't that's not that. Hard. Coming, that's not man. it. That's not it. You hear me? I, I'm coming retarded. After that, it's like really I bumped my head. Yeah, I bumped my head. Food, everybody got to die after that. Everybody, everybody got to go. I bumped my head. The fuck y'all got going on, bro? Yeah, <laughs> that nigga's wildin'. It's too much going on with that Crate Challenge, man. Over here on this side, Major Key Podcast, we ain't doing all that. I respect and salute everybody that's doing their thing, no matter how you're doing your thing. But come on, let's get a little smarter. Let's not work harder. You know, and that Crate it's Challenge funny. to me it's is funny. like... It's funny. I get a kick out of it. Y'all want, I y'all, watched a lot and I left. Y'all want to climb these clips? Not some high shit. You feel me? <laughs> no, niggas just started <laughs> doing that shit too. Fuck that. Hey, niggas just wild. I be scrolling, seeing a bunch of them shit. I, I be saving them shits and everything. I might want to watch this one later. You feel more, me? Like, more power to you. <laughs> Say that shit for later. <laughs> All right, man. Let's get into this. Let's jump into some music, man. Let's let's talk about because I, I I believe I listen to both albums. Mm. I listen to Certified Lover Boy, I and I listen I to Donda. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't. first of all, listening to listen clearly. I me personally. Don't like Kanye West. You, know? you you've said this previously on yeah. Major Key Podcast as a, multiple as times. As a fan, I, I don't like. I'm not a fan of him. Matter of fact, okay. So, I don't the music like or music. or just Kanye? No, him or the music. Okay, and but you got the, the right to music. do that. Yeah, right, right. Musically, I mean, so yeah, musically, yeah. I don't like his music. Only music that I really liked was Through the Wire. That was one That's of his it? first drums. Yeah, it. yeah. That was that was the one that put him on right there, right? Uh, uh, I don't uh, like and I don't fuck with you Kanye, me? but with Kanye. That nigga's a genius. He's a musical genius. He is. You can't deny that much. I deny really? it. You can't deny it. I deny it. Deny. You deny much all the way? Nah. Oh, all right. way. But look, he changed his shit. His personality makes you not fuck with his music. Okay, I get that. So when you listen to Kanye, you listen to his music, but you still think about all the dumb shit. He you can't get past nah, the fact that he just said some dumb shit. No, exactly. if we I talking about, I'm, I'm specific. So if we talking about his music, nigga, I'm listening to his shit mm-hmm. and tell you what I, do. I don't like his shit. Okay. I don't like Kanye. I'm gonna artist. tell you like this. As, as not, it's not it ain't even nothing personal. It ain't not like oh, right. he a weirdo. I ain't like the album either though. It's you not, like it? not it's not cause he a weirdo or none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't even judging him on that. You feel me? And you can get past that? I can get way past that. You uh, feel me? Niggas is weird anyway. All day. And getting money. That's why I stay away. I'm okay with that. <laughs> uh, nigga, you you wear you getting money, whatever. Right, right, right. I just call weird, weird nigga, whatever. You feel me? <laughs> anyway, you know, niggas definition of where is different. Right, right, right. At the end of the day, I just don't fuck with his music. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, did you listen to the album, though? N- not yet. Nope. I listened to the whole album. I did. You listened to the whole album? 
And what you I'm think? Like, I'm I'm telling you why I didn't. Because why you, why you didn't? My school got here. Okay. I only so like, you went and give him a shot, chance I to mean, listen I to the album. Give me a shot. Before that, like nigga, I fucked up. Can I get? Hey, this nigga crazy. Mine's just the illest. Nigga tired of being tired. All right, so look, let me let me ask you because you listen to the whole album, right? Listen to whole. I only like one song off the album. Which one? Can't shit with the weekend. Okay. That's that like, joint, all right. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I ain't like how he, I don't know. I feel like he's trying to fit in with what's going on now too much, and that's not him. Kanye got 6.6 6 billion, his net worth. Does he need to make music? But being rich don't don't mean he's like, talented. Okay. You know? Well, he's proven that. He's proven that. He's so, proven his talents. Yes, he has. Right. His last couple, whatever, has been Projects. His projects. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, not even projects. Everything he's been doing is bullshit. Okay. So I, I tie all that shit. So watch together. the throne. You ain't like watch the throne. Watch the throne. Yeah, I like watch the throne. Okay. But everything he did after that, it's like we going, bro. Yeah. Weird. I get it. I get certified lover, lover boy. How about that? I get that. I get that shit at eight. A uh, eight? I ain't listen to that even. I, I get that shit eight. Okay. Why? Drake was rapping on that. Yeah. Drake. I I fuck with when it come to like artists. You know what I'm saying? I, he's a good. You just, uh, I would say what you said about Kanye, I would say about Drake. You feel me? Okay. He actually got bangers. I mean, he's a little, you know. A little what, Mots? He's a little what? what is he? what he's a little weird. What is he? Uh, yeah. <laughs> he trying to come up with the word. He's weird, but. He's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Everybody's weird to this nigga, come, man. Nah, when it comes to songs, he got. You know what I'm saying? He can make songs. He's just not. A, Bro, that nigga. That nigga can't, like I said, we can't compare it to him. You know what I'm saying? He's not a, like, that a, nigga a, a street is a nigga. Hit machine. Yeah, he yeah. he's proven that. He not Numbers a, don't lie, my nigga. Exactly, he, he not a street nigga, so I can't yeah. go off that. Go nah, he's not a street nigga, but he I got mean, some street niggas around him. But he got some music, but... Yeah, but, but, yeah, yeah him, um, that don't make you a street then, nigga, though. But, but you then, don't gotta be a street on, nigga. Hold on, but then him and me... You a rich nigga, you're the, you're, you, you are the investment. Uh, absolutely, You're yeah. not supposed to get your hands But then he has some beef with um Meek because of um him saying he had a ghostwriter. Not a while he, ago, a while ago, yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, but shit. in music, yeah. bro, when they would beef me, yeah, yeah. In was, music, yeah. in the music industry. So what you saying? Somebody wrote that whole shit? Nah, nah. It was the nigga um Quentin Miller. He, he, he yeah. yeah, he wrote some. But in the music industry, niggas is gonna write songs for niggas. But hip hop, that's not acceptable. We it, talked it, about it this ain't before. Acceptable. It ain't. Hip hop is the only genre where it's not acceptable to get your shit written, bro. It ain't, but it happens. And then once you once you get that, they put you on blast. It's over for a you. A lot of these artists' biggest songs they ain't right. Yeah, and you can check the credits. A lot of niggas don't check the credits, though. Exactly. A lot of niggas really stay away from the credits. I don't right. know why, because the credits will tell you everything. Uh, so Certified Lover Boy, you'll give it an eight, Kanye. Eight. Donda, you'll give what? Donda get like, I don't know, bro. That should probably be like a, a one, because I like one. Wow. That nigga said a one. Bro. Whew. He and has you know great what? production. All that great production and money you put into that shit for it to come out and be like... Yo, you know people who's so mad. Oh, celebrities yeah. were mad. Yeah. Artists, yeah. Different artists or you know, rappers and all that was mad because they didn't get on the album. Yeah, he took them off yeah. last minute type shit. Yeah. Soulja Boy. Oh. Soulja Boy was not Chris got, Brown. <laughs> Damn, nigga. He slayed them niggas on that shit. That's some bullshit. He, he moved like a crazy nigga. Yo, move like he ain't got that's like me telling you, yo, we're gonna do the podcast tonight. Like, yo, right when you get here, like, yo, my nigga, listen, we ain't doing this shit. Y'all don't even think think this shit. (laughs) uh, Dirk was in it. No, 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 this is hot. I mean, I don't know if he was hot, but you know, nah, but Drake got Drake got Hove. He got the goat on the album. And Jay- Hope is on both albums. But Jay Z went crazy on on Drake. Yeah, but they said that Jay Z said some crazy shit too, though. On what? On the album? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I heard the line. Yeah, I can't remember verbatim what it, what it was, but I remember. Listen, I'm going to tell you like this. I listened to both albums, my nigga. I couldn't get past two songs. Yo, nigga was tough. Real nigga uh, shit. I, listen, I, I couldn't get past two I, it songs. It took me, all right, with the Drake album, it took me like at least like three days to actually listen to this. To appreciate it? To, to, to let it sink in, you feel me? Got but you. I felt like he was doing a lot of rapping. Like, usually he's a sweet talking, light skinned nigga. Yeah, and he right in that album. He was doing a lot of rapping. It was right. it was like poetry type shit. Too. Okay, who was that? He did a lot. Drake, certified lover boy. He did a lot in that album, bro. He did a lot I mean, in that album. He, listen, Drake is. You don't gotta like the nigga, but you know you nah, can't yeah. deny got, his musical yeah, talent. Exactly. He does. You, you can't right. deny that shit. Yeah, you right. You don't Especially like him because he not hood or he not. Yeah, exactly. But he, his music, musically, music. he he, he got, got it, bro. All right, cool. Yo, listen, especially being in this business match, we got to fuck with you. What's up with that lover boy? What's that mean? Like, I certified mean, lover boy. Certified lover boy. Yo, what does that mean? Like, he be fucking all these hoes. Yeah, hey, that's him. Uh, that's <laughs> that's light skinned nigga shit. That's so your that, type of that shit. About- is it that's your type of <laughs> shit, Mach? Nah, he ain't light skinned. Mach Puerto Rican. He, he's hey, automatically light skinned. This nigga hey, is light skinned, nigga. Hey, come what you want. <laughs> ah, damn. 
ain't no uh, certified lover boy. You ain't no CBL? You ain't, no CB. CLB. You ain't putting a heart on your head, man. Listen to what I'm saying. I ain't no certified lover boy. You feel me? At the end of the day, you know nah, what I'm saying? I, I love a good love. It out, you know what I'm talking it out. Listen, man. Major yeah. Key Podcast. Major Key you Podcast know. on all These platforms. Right talking now. crazy. G-G, you feel me? Major Key Podcast on all platforms, man. Make sure you follow us on YouTube. Subscribe to us on YouTube. We on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pandora, Stitcher, Deezer. The list goes on and on. We right. always all working. We always Chilling working, baby. Hey, so speaking of which, go ahead, Mach. Oh, pardon me. Go ahead, go ahead. Now you good. Um, I want to say rest in peace, you know what I'm saying? Michael Williams, the actor. Word, word. Come on, my man. Yeah. Wow. Rest in peace. Real OG, you know that. Yo, did Rest you see peace. Did you see the DMX tribute he did? He did. Wow. Yeah, I was just, that hit me too. Yeah. That's understand. deep. To me, that's deep because it just it just happened. Then crazy is like almost, you know, passed away by the same type the of same time. Way. On the same you know type of I mean? time, Macho. For me, like. And uh, he, got, he got deep jersey roots too. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He's from this area, you know, mm-hmm. and I'm salute, salute the man, salute to him. Salute and, and the condolences to the family That's on behalf of Major Key Podcast. Family. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, man. You know, it's another tragic story, man. And and, and we it's been happening all year. 2021 has been very wild. Yo, 2021 has been a lot of a lot deaths of like that. Let's right. keep it gangster, bro. And we got to wisen up. Yeah. You know, I'm not, I'm, who am I to judge? I'm nobody to judge. I, I can't tell a nigga to do what the fuck they want to do. Like, but as people, especially being in the industry, we uh <clears throat> we're around this shit a lot. Yeah. It's easy, it's, it's, it's very accessible for, for, for people to be around drugs and be people to be around that type of environment. You know, and it happened out west too at a party. Mm-hmm. I don't know if y'all heard there was a there was a party um and niggas OD, they had fentanyl inside oh, yeah, of coke. A couple motherfuckers OD. Yo, a couple yeah. actors and shit. It was it, it was it was a, it was a, it was a known comedian. It wasn't an actor, it was a known comedian. I forgot his name. Damn man. Forgive me for not Canadian, remembering his name. I think Canadian or some shit. He black, right? Yeah he black too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was known out in the West a lot. He did a lot of uh you know a lot of um, um, comedy runs out there, so salute and condolences to the family out there too. But we getting a lot of this shit, man. Let's keep it gangster, man. That's yeah. what we doing. We just keep podcasting. It's not cool. I just want to have young people, right? The young men out there, y'all need to value y'all life way more than y'all than y'all doing now. Work because the way this shit is happening, either they're gonna lock you up or another young person gonna kill you. Work. I just got to get it together, you feel me, and, and, and think about what you do before you do it. That's all I want to say to the young people out there. Absolutely, man. That's, that's some good advice, man. <clears throat> and we, we getting so many much. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> um, we got the old heads wilding, though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. You no, know, 50 was out on talking about the, you know, actor, you know what I mean? A 50, that's 50. 50 you know, <laughs> no, what do you say, Mach? What do you say, Mach? 50 made a comment. <laughs> he you know talking about the Fetty and everything. Nah, nah. He, he, you know, he always got some shit to say for me. Yeah. But he, well, I don't think it, I, things catch it differently for me, but I, I don't think it's no disrespect. You know what I'm saying? He said, he made a post and said, damn, if you didn't see Raising Ken, for me, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. That fat and all is no joke. Yeah. Killing us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Us, clients and everybody, for me, rest in peace, you know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> Niggas took it out of proportion and said the nigga was tweaking, but I don't think he was tweaking. Was nah, going Fifty always speaks his mind, man. Yeah, shouts to salute to Fifty Cent because he's he's never got he, he don't he don't bite his tongue. The way shit happened, no, niggas is mixing it. You don't know what they put in and shit. You feel me? So it's like, and then the shit they put in is hit you. Yeah. Oh, you feel me? So they're like, ah, uh, that's what he's saying. Man. Yeah, you got. <clears throat> he wasn't yeah. being different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. You feel me? So they, they, they well, that's a of, great point. Yeah, but when you that famous, you can't talk certain shit. You just you can't know. say. Yeah. But Fifty going to speak his mind. Boozy so badass Boosie, to speak it. Oh my, he speak his mind too. Said, yo, it's it, funny. I seen a post. And he speaks he speak for everybody. Yo, no, I seen a post and it said uh, it was a, it was the gay nigga. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Pardon me. Uh, yeah, the gay nigga. The old town. Uh, what's the nigga? Uh, the old town the road nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little Nas X. Yeah, yeah, I got you. So he was he pregnant with some shit. I don't know what the fuck going on. Anyway, he got a belly. Or some that nigga's shit. pregnant. They say, hey, yo, hold on. The comment was, hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Before we get into that, the nigga, look, somebody posted said, oh, don't don't let little boozy see this shit. <laughs> Boosie and Eminem. It was a picture of the nigga pregnant and shit. Boosie and give a fuck. They said, don't let Boozy see this he shit. He did. He seen it. He seen it. And he made some comments after that. And Boozy to say some shit. So if you, ain't, if you ain't hear what he said, go check it out. This yeah, shit's out Boosie, there, man. Boosie I'm, always gonna let you know what's going on. But you know what, though, man? We need niggas like that in the game. We, why are we canceling niggas that's keeping the gangsta and, and telling us the truth? Yo, and this that's not cool, age, bro. And they make it hard. Being a man is hard. Yeah. I don't even want you to be a straight man no more. What the fuck, bro? I mean, that's that's what it's come to. The industry, listen, bro, the people at the top that's, that's running shit is pretty much promoting and condoning the shit. Look at the shit that they put in the niggas' faces. 
It's not cool. To people like us, you know, that they have morals and have values. And I respect, listen, don't get me wrong. I respect yeah, everybody's no opinion. I don't have any beef with any type of gender or anything. LGBTQs. We're not beefing with y'all. Nah, I don't have any problem with anybody. You know what I mean? I don't indulge in any of that because that's not me, but to each his own. Put it like that. But we have the right to speak upon certain things too. That's a fact. You know, just because you say something and you have a point of view and saying, doesn't mean that you got to slay me or slander or, or put me like, I'm. You, we unnormalizing not, normal, my nigga. What we doing? Lie, but it's like, you know, you on the internet and you say some wild shit, it might be regular to us. The world going to think you wild and they going to drag you. Mm -hmm. What's they, wrong with not, not wanting your kids to see all the wild, crazy shit that's going on? Work. I don't feel like there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Facts, man. Right. You got to protect your kids, man. You got to protect them from what's going on on TV, YouTube, all that shit, man. Because there's a lot there's a lot of shit out there, man. This shit gets nasty. <laughs> this shit gets this super gets nasty, nasty, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man, we're going to veer off, man. We're going to get to you, man. Let, let's let's get a little history. I, I got to... All right, feel me? Hefe, feel me? Come to New Brunswick, New Jersey. Been AC for a couple years now, you feel me? It's Shouts to North Jersey. Right here. It's my brother Mach, you feel me? You know it. Like, I'm, I knew Mach for a while, you feel me? Like, so now I'm just trying to focus on me and get my music right, get back to it, get back to the roots. Facts. Like, Homie got bars. Yeah, definitely do. Like I said earlier, he was in the studio, we was in there recording, and. Killing shit. Bro, killing shit. So look right. forward to that, look forward to the All video right. coming. So yeah, give us, give us, give us, give us, when you start rapping, man, what, what made you really dip into this? When did you first pick up the microphone? I mean, I start. I used to. I, I started smoking weed when I was like 11, 12. You said right. smoking weed. So yeah. that's what probably got him into. That's what, that's what sparked it all. <laughs> that's why no pun intended, right? That Niggas, I was around the town. We used to all go go to freestyle. You feel me? Freestyle, 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 freestyle. Right. That's how I learned. I, I write, but that's how I learned to rap without writing because I always freestyle. So right. Shit always just come in my head. Okay. Well, I've been rapping for a while, you feel me? Something so since like, you was like 12? Like 12. I always okay. had a passion for music, you feel me? I live with my grandparents at Point Tiny, used to play all the oldies. Oh, yeah? You feel me? All okay. That. I got into it. So you got influenced by the oldies. Who was your favorite rapper growing up? Growing up, my favorite rapper was Styles P. Styles P? That's the homie. My favorite rapper. Shouts to Styles P, That's man. Shout He's out. An entrepreneur. Favorite rapper. I would go with like Cash, but shout out. So, so on, the, on, the, um, on the verses, you were siding with D-Block? Of course. D block? Of course. Out here. Lots of people. I love D block. You feel me? But come on, man. Yeah. That was like, it was, it was no. That it was, was epic, though. But we already knew the outcome. Everybody that is a real hip hop historian, music head, whatever you want to call yourself, right. you knew the outcome of that mm -hmm. before it even happened. It was legit. I, I, I salute and I take my hat off, man, to, to both camps. They put on a great show. Because that's, versus, that's what it turned into is it's a show. You know what I mean? We, I mean, you giving me your best hits, and 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 the opponent's giving you the best hits, but it's a show. It's yeah, something that, yeah, and it started yeah. during COVID. It started yeah, during when, when we had the and lockdown on that. Going. Swiss Beats and uh, Timberland they sold started. It. Yeah, they sold to to to, uh, to Thriller, right? We can't keep nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Hate that. Nah, niggas, yeah. nigga, niggas yeah, is chasing that bag. Nigga, fuck that. Can't keep nothing. <laughs> we can't just get the bag. Just keep the bag over here, bro. Stop letting the motherfuckers get everything. Like, All right, so when you shit. when you really started rapping, when you started picking it up. You know, you you figured out your your flow. Your, your, you know, you figured out how to write the bars and get everything counted up. When did you start taking it serious? Like, yo, I could really do this shit. I could really get into it. Started getting in the studio, all that shit. Um, first time with the studio, like, like 2014. I mean, I got I probably made like four or five songs in the studio all together. You feel me? Okay. Ended up getting locked up, whatever, all that. But oh, you went to had, big boy school. Had kids. He was in college, much. He was in college. Had kids. He got three sons. You feel me? So I never really had that. the time, but I never stopped rapping. You feel me? You can never stop utilizing your craft. You so, gotta get. Like now, I, I went through a situation. You feel me? Single. Okay. I'm ready to mingle. <laughs> okay. Shit, you feel me? So now I'm free. You feel me? Shit. So I got the time when I'm not. I got the time when I'm not working. I got the time to put time into my craft. But that Facts. work in first. So, and you got a lot of work too, man. You yeah. were showing me your, your, your you know, I, your, I got, you got, I got a lot of mixtapes in my phone. Damn. How many? <laughs> like five, six? In probably like four. Probably like four mixtapes in my phone. Yeah, we're going to put that to work, man. Mm -hmm. Salute to that, man. So Big you picked up out. you picked up the mic, you started getting in the studio, you started rapping, and then you was like, man, this is it for me. You know, your name, Hefe. 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 Hefe's boss. Hefe, Charlotte, Hefe, Bleaky. Oh, you got a couple I'm names. Me, I, I move around. Oh, that's us. What you really? That's us. You ain't got a couple names. I move around. Nigga, I, uh, I, I, I keep a couple aliases, my. 
Nah, I, I, nigga, I, all my names, I never named myself. I got named. Okay. Name. Niggas is with me, so I never. Uh, uh, this is my nigga. I picked this name. Y'all got a straight me. dog. That's legit. Roaming around the neighborhood. I, I, I'm a Rolling Stone, nigga. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> See, that's it. <laughs> See, but, but what you, what you, that's what's up. What you mainly go by, though? Feel me? I, my, my, mainly, I go by Hefe and Bleaky. Okay. Right. And that name right there, you got from where? Who gave you that name, Hefe? Feel me? I got that name from, like, some old nigga I knew, but I ain't really know a nigga that, that well, you feel me? I met that nigga at jail. He's a Puerto Rican nigga. Okay. And he used to talk to me, but he ain't know no English like that. Mm. So he used to always call me her. Yeah. Mm. You know I mean? And then one day, a nigga ended up translating the conversation with me. He was like, I, I, I'm calling you boss because I like the way you move. Word. That's legit? Right. That's well, legit? That's and, you, I, and it stuck with you? Yeah, it's just stuck with you. All right, man. So salute to that. Big shout out. You feel me? I got my name Bali because I, I I never been no big ass nigga. I was a little nigga and I was wild. Wow, so knocking little niggas little the fuck out. Nigga. Little big nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I can it. relate. I can dig it. That's it. You feel me? I can dig it. That's what's up, man. Your next venture when it comes to this music, you know, where you see yourself? Where, where do you want to? Where do you want to be? Where do you? Where, within music, within hip hop, because that's what you mainly you about, right? Your style. You you got bars, my nigga. I ain't gonna style. I don't cap for nobody. I don't really vouch for nobody. Unless you really got that work, we we was in the studio and you was working. You know what I'm saying? Now, and I and I don't gas niggas either. Appreciate if a nigga that. listen, because we do radio. If a nigga asks, I'm gonna let you know, my nigga. We gotta work on that. Yeah. You know, in, in in a good way. I'm, I'm gonna give you some criticals. I don't like downing niggas. You know, I'm no better than nobody. I love constructive criticism. Man. Absolutely, that's, that's what it's that's about. What gets me on my game. Facts. So your next move, hey Faye, um, putting a mixtape together. I know you say you got like five six mixtapes in your phone, putting it together. What, what's your uh your idea? On your project, do you got a name for your project? I don't have a name for my project yet. You feel me? I want to get at least a couple songs down. You feel me? Work and then capitalize. After I get like four or five songs, see the mood of, of the shit and of the, of the mixtape, and I figure out what the name. Is, you feel me? You got a timing on it? I'm trying to get this shit done in like within like two three months. Okay. Have, have everything done. You feel me? And okay. I, I want to drop it. I have a couple of videos lined up and everything. Okay. You feel me? Well, yeah. listen, you you on the right side for that. Yeah. PMG LLC, we do everything, man. Yeah. We we always there. They never there. You hear me? Three seventeen much? market and media. You know what I'm saying? Stand to them. Three seventeen market and the media. Listen, I'm the newest member of the game. Let's get money. Yeah. <laughs> it's to the top. Ain't no coming down. So yeah, the project is coming. The videos are coming. Hefe in the building with Major Key Podcast. Mach, what's up with you, man? Man, fuck living, you been up to, Mach? Yo, li- living life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like he always say living like it's golden, Mach. Living life like it's golden. That's how you always have. No more. You know what I'm saying? You're not. I mean, <laughs> you can't. I, I can't. You. I got no choice but to breathe. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, it's a blessing to me. At least I got that chance, and I'm gonna try to keep it. You know? By any means necessary. I'm saying, but I love the shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Major Key, stay lit. Let's get money, man. Probably be holding shit down. We holding it up. So we got shit shaking. Don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? But we won't hit you. We won't smack you. We won't hit you. And we on every type of time. Mm -hmm. All types of time. So when Debo come through, y'all niggas gonna tuck y'all chain in (laughs) here. Major Key Podcast. Shouts to everybody on Facebook watching right now. Everybody that's been watching. Much love. We do it for y'all, man. Listen, we going on. We on the up and up. We gonna take a slight, slight, slight little break. We gonna stay on Facebook Live. We gonna get all the background noise, man. That's what we do. Stay with us. We'll be right back, man. Let's get it. Yeah. Shit. Picking up right where we left off. Major Key Podcast. Like I said, shouts and salute to everybody on Facebook Live watching right now. We do it for y'all, man. It's to the top. Ain't no coming okay, down. Okay. Hey, Faye, you were saying, man. Let's go to you, man. I got a question for y'all, fellas. Let's get it. You feel me? What's up? In What's up? Life, in life, what classifies you as a weird nigga? Okay. Does that come with a backup question or is it just question. that it? That's a good what question. The f- um, what makes you a weird nigga? What like? makes you a weird nigga? Okay. Well, define, hold on, hold on. Before you get any further, define weird because there's so much different right. levels of weird to I me. Mean, I mean, A bitch call you weird, what you gonna think? A bitch call you weird, a nigga call you weird, you're not moving right, you're doing weird shit to, your, to the, the people that love you and shit. What, what I feel like, me personally, I feel like weird niggas is. is, is, is they, they're down there with the scum of the earth. Okay. You feel me? So I want to know what 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 do you feel like makes a nigga a weird nigga? Like, right. I don't want to be around that nigga. You want me to answer that first, Mach? Yep. All right. To me, <laughs> I'm in a business of progressing. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm, I'm a person of positivity. I like to see growth. Yeah. To me, a weird nigga is a stagnant nigga. A nigga that ain't about shit. A nigga that's really out here just living life like ain't nothing shaking, nothing moving. You know what I'm saying? A weird nigga to me would be a nigga that's doing shit that doesn't need to be done, like a crate challenge, my nigga. That's a weird nigga to me. You're definitely a weirdo if you're doing a crate challenge. You're to definitely. me, it's like, nigga, there's so many other ways to get money, so many other ways to, to pretty much showcase your talent and your work. A weird nigga would be climbing crates. 
to me. I mean, to each his own. Yeah, yeah. So right. to me, a weird nigga, to summarize it, to give you the answer, a nigga that's not about shit, a nigga that's really out here just living day to day like there's nothing more to life. You know what I'm saying? That's my definition of a weird nigga. There's so many other ways, but that's me. So much. What do you think a weird nigga is? Oh, man. That's deep. Um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to think of all types of ways. <laughs> you know I mean? I'm trying to think of... Uh, you know, you, you done met so many weird niggas in life. You already I've know. been called weird. <laughs> Listen, I've been called weird recently, and it fucked my head up. You know what I mean? Because I didn't think that I was weird. Yeah, I got waves and bad ass. Everybody got this You know what I mean? I got Everybody bad ass. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day... Somebody call me weird, and it, it fucked my head up. Cause I, I was thinking, right? So, what is weird? Yeah, and I was like to myself, I'm thinking, what is weird? Uh, oh, you, 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 you call or whatever, and you ain't answer me. You feel know I me? Mean? I answer your phone call. Well, maybe motherfucker, I was doing something else. Fact. Well, you know what I'm saying? You act like I'm weird because I looked at the phone and said, "Oh, well, this person's calling." Nah, I ain't gonna pick that up. <laughs> Now you automatically assume that shit because you ain't get the answer. Yeah. You feel me? Or, you know what I'm saying, a nigga, uh, you know, uh, jump at everybody's conversation and jump at everybody's shit. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Instead of minding their own business, jump at everybody's shit. Oh, weird though. That's weird. That's you know weird. That's definitely weird. You no, know, those type of things. But right, me personally. So, right? so you are, hold up. So you, you want, like, your weird would be more on a personal level. Nigga, you just wilding out here doing shit you don't need to be doing weird. Word. Right. I get it. I respect that. Everybody got their own opinion. Me but- personally, right? All right. I I I I can't say I'm weird. You feel me? I feel like everybody got their own ways. Like okay. you said, you feel me? Everybody move how they move. So me, me personally, I love hard. You feel me? So when I love you, I might do some shit that's out of character. You feel me? Some weird shit. It's some weird shit. Mm-hmm. But I don't <laughs> consider myself a weird nigga. You feel me? So uh, hold up. Let's go back to that. Hold. What the fuck? So. If you love, like, so if you with a chick and you love her and she wild and you just gonna go crazy, hate, nah, man. nah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm gonna do some weird you're shit and my lie and be like, that's why I fucked this hoe. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, like, like so that's the weird shit, be like, shit. nigga, he acting weird as hell because he's mad right now. You feel me? He's weird. <laughs> now, I get, I get I'm mad, like, you feel me? I'm gonna lie to this bitch because you know I'm what I mean? You feel me? I'm an arguing champion. You feel me? <laughs> this oh, nigga, shit. you like to argue? I'm an argue. I'm bro, the I complete argue opposite. For, I can argue for six days in a row, nigga. Nigga! All I need is a Gatorade. That's <laughs> it. And a Red Bull, nigga. I keep going. I don't like arguing. Now, you feel me? Sometimes... Fuck that. I don't, I don't like me, arguing. I don't like getting physical, so I'm going to argue with you. I'm going to make you mad with my words. Yeah. And I'm going to do it every day. So that might be... I might be a weirdo. I don't know. You feel me? Like, I might but what, what's your definition of weird? Because you, you brought it up. My definition of weird is like, all right, boom. You could be around a nigga every day, right? Right? I got you. Let me see you later, Matt. You around a nigga every day. Nigga, nigga know you. He know your story. You know his story. Work. And then one day, the nigga does some backbreaking shit. Like, try to talk to your ex, bitch, or... Yeah, that, oh, yeah. Oh, you say you took some shit. Yeah, or we ain't done that. I ain't never stepped in a day in my life. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Because you're like, mad. I, I, yeah. I feel like shit like that is mad weird. Or a nigga, you hear this nigga saying this about you over here. You feel me? And any nigga that lies is definitely a weird nigga. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Keep that shit with me, you definitely yeah. weird as hell, bro. Yeah, yeah, we I got grown, you. Grown, we grown men. Listen, ain't no need to lie, my nigga. Listen, I'm a, I, I ain't going to lie. I'm a lie. You a liar, you be lying? I ain't gonna lie, I'm a lie. <laughs> Are you a liar? In that situation? No, I lie. I'm oh, a you lie. lie? I'm a lie. Listen, if we talking the law, you gotta lie. But you ain't gonna lie. Like, uh, yeah, I'm yeah. a lie, nigga. Yeah, that's a fact. About, man. But I'm talking about I'm a lie to get the I'm fuck about about you ain't gonna, You ain't gonna lie to your mans about nothing? Nah. That's different. That's loyalty. That's, 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 that's a whole different ballgame, my nigga. That's a whole different ballgame. Now it's. In certain situations, you gotta lie, you feel me? Oh, your girl caught you doing... Nah, I, ain't, I don't know what the fuck... Nah, what the fuck you talking about? Oh, look, look. I turned right, right in the shaggy. I ain't gonna lie to that. I turned right in the shaggy. I ain't gonna lie with that. He, he, he official with his shit. I'm turning in the shaggy. It wasn't me. Ah, it wasn't me? It wasn't me. <laughs> she caught me on... I don't know, but it wasn't me. Yeah, you shout out, bro. <laughs> That's what's up, though. She I mean, caught me on Major Key. It wasn't me. I'm the man. There's a lot of weird niggas out there, man. And there's so many levels and definitions of weird. That's a great, great topic you brought up, man. How about man. y'all comment and y'all let us know what y'all think where it is. Facts. Because there's a lot of types of weird. I mean, I, I could dig it, you know, but we're going to keep it pushing, pushing, moving and moving yeah, on yeah, this yeah. side. Definitely. Um, You know, I'm going to give one more shout out. You know, also, you know what I'm saying? I become an artist also. You know what I'm saying? This little bro. You know what I mean? Big Five. You know what I'm saying? He got to check out. 
I mean, the track called Bamboo. Go, so go check that out. You know what I'm saying? As much love. You know, I love showing love to the absolutely to artists. Like that's my thing. You know, what I'm especially saying? local match. Niggas don't. You know, what I'm saying it, it don't matter if it's just a word. Say he's. You know, what I'm saying as long as they get that. That's a point. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah, I yeah. could be like, all right, spread. You, you know what I mean? Yo, like, what they say? Um, how that how that game go? You wish for something. Mm, mm. It's like, telephone, and, telephone. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's never gonna be the same thing. Whereas the bad around. niggas know what type of yeah. I mean, Facts. Real gonna recognize real mm-hmm. regardless. You feel me? But at least the, you know what I mean. The love is there. Facts. Yeah. And, and I, I can respect that. Nosy or not, you know what I'm saying? That's why we on here. Facts. Major key podcast on all platforms, man. We got Hefe in the building. Chip. I appreciate y'all weird. bringing me on here. You feel me? Absolutely, like, man. It's your first time seeing me. It's not gonna be our last. We got big things planned. A lot of shit coming. Hey, yo, you know just, awesome. just keep your eyes open. Don't sleep on me, baby, because I ain't sleeping on y'all. Listen, yeah. we got enough rest on this side. Listen. I sleep when I die. Fuck that shit. We got a lot going on. We got a lot shaking. And and if you don't see us like that, it's because we planning and, and we moving to a something bigger. We get on this side, bro, we, we do so much, Mach. Yeah, right? Definitely. And we move from one... Peep how we been doing shit. We move from one thing to the next to the next. And every single time we like this, my nigga, we going up. We don't ride nobody's waves. We on a plane, my nigga. This is what we do. You know what I'm saying? We rocking out. We going to take it to the top. Like you always, know, man. You know, so uh, I was just on that wave. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to Sean Wright. You feel me? Sean Wright. DJ Abel. He was DJ on here. Abel. You hear me? Episode hey, yo, 8. Much love. I see you. I see you. What's up, fellas? Shouts, you know shouts to salute to DJ much Abel, man. Much love. Y'all right now. If you haven't seen that. that episode, Moss, that's, that was official. You and I, we, know, we, yeah, we, we yeah, interviewed him. Deep, and you know what's crazy? He taught it, me some shit. Facts, my nigga. I was just about to say. I'm of her. You know what I mean? Facts. He oh he put me D on some shit. Yeah, I'm like, man. Oh, what I love what? about that interview match is Shout that out. he really, like you said, he put his D and he gave us the roots of hip hop when it came right. to this area. Right. We had it. We didn't have that yet. We had a lot mm-hmm. of interviews, a lot of people up here, but he was the first OG that we had up here. He let and you know. Bro, he broke it down. He was talking names that we had to do our research and homework. Like oh, and he gave us the perspective when it came to radio because he does radio. That's you know, funny. he interviewed us. You know, as, mm-hmm. as a company and all the artists we had, he interviewed us much, and it was official. It was only right that we extended the hand and brought it right back on this type of platform. But when he came on here, bro, it was straight legit. If you haven't seen that episode, go check it out. It's on YouTube right now. Season 2, episode 8 with uh, Sean Wright, TKA yeah. DJ A. I ain't never me, bro, but I commend him because if you can't teach me nothing, I don't want to be around. Uh, he, yo, that's that's love. That's yeah, real. That's he, real. He was definitely, uh, you know what I mean? And he showed love to everybody. Yo, all you want to see is people grow. Yeah, facts. That's, that's it. Saying, that's the love. That's yeah, it. man. That's and he, that. we got we got something in the works, something in, in, in the making with uh, Sean Wright, DJ A. You know me, I don't talk too much until it happens. But this shit's about to be big, my nigga, and <laughs> y'all better be ready for this shit. Big shout out to the Seattle judge. Niggas don't even know, you know what I'm saying? It's the, the, the Durant. The KD, Durant. KD, boy, yeah, you know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the, that's the official, nigga. That shit caught me off guard. Remember we was talking about earlier? I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, Durant yeah, on Seattle with you. Set up. Them niggas don't know what they talking about. I got, a, I got a birthday coming up, September 27th. I'm okay. 28 years old, and I want to have a single out for y'all by then, at least. Okay. So that's what you're gonna for. That's yeah. good. You got time for your shit. That. I'm gonna for okay. have a nice single for y'all. Something that everybody can ride around to, have fun to. Okay. We're gonna shoot for that. We're gonna gun for that, man. That's what we do. We're and working we're on this side. I'm trying to do something big for the B day, you feel me? I don't know what I'm doing yet, but we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna get it done. All right, man. Let's get it, man. It's to the top. Ain't no coming down. Major Key Podcast, season two, yeah. episode 10, man. It's been love. It's always great to be around good people, man, and to show love and to really do what we do, man. Shouts to Mach. Yeah. Mach was really the one that made this happen. He brought home you. Listen, as I said earlier, if you, if you ain't catch the beginning yeah, yeah. of this live, oh, love. go watch. Love that nigga. We started off at a stu- at a, with a studio session in-house at PMG LLC Studios, and then we was like, yo, you here. We might as well get into the podcast. Why not? Let's do this episode. Right after this, we're going to jump right back into the studio. See, what we do. We working, baby. We working, so man. Always right. working. Never tired. Network is the best work. 317 Marketing and Media on Instagram. Major Key Podcast on Instagram. It's the pilot on Instagram. Mach RCG on Instagram. Go check him out. You already. You feel me? Diabolical Hefe on Instagram. Shit. Facts, man. We're going to keep climbing, man. Salute and shouts to everybody out there that paid attention and watched this episode. Everybody that's out there working, keep working, man. There's no... episode do I do. <laughs> that's what we do, man. There's no reason to stop now, yeah. man. Let's go. Let's take it straight to the top. Team GLLC, Major Key Podcast. There's only one way up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get it. Y'all better be ready, man. A lot of niggas want the fame. But I just want to get paid. Get paid, yeah.